Welcome back. Current temperatures have bottomed out in the low to middle 30s and they'll hold pretty steady under a mostly clear sky as we go through the rest of the overnight hours tonight. So by the time you're waking up tomorrow morning, still expect temperatures around the 30 degree mark and winds will remain elevated throughout the entirety of the overnight hours tonight. Still sustained right now between about 15 and 20 five miles per hour out of the southeast and some occasional wind gusts between 20 and 30 miles per hour. So we're still breezy because of strong high pressure over Minnesota and a developing area of low pressure to our northwest over Alberta. So wind or air wants to go from high pressure to low pressure. We get that stronger southeast wind and that'll remain in place as we go through tonight. But shifting a little bit more east into tomorrow with temperatures again to start tomorrow morning around 30 degrees and then more clouds building in as we go through our Tuesday. It'll be a mostly cloudy day. Again, those stronger winds over eastern North Dakota. Eventually there'll be a wind shift behind this cold front, but despite the clouds, temperatures will still be above normal in the 50s for a lot of us and an isolated rain shower chance as we get into Tuesday evening or night, but don't look for much measurable rainfall with this system passing through. It'll just be mostly the stronger wind to contend with and then that'll boost our temperatures to be warmer than what we had for today. Some of us in the 40s across the north, but a lot of us topping out at about the 50 degree mark into tomorrow afternoon. So the closer inspection shows those stronger winds in place for tonight with the mostly clear sky, but the widespread cloud cover builds in through Tuesday midday and into the afternoon hours, but still temperatures topping out above normal for this time of year. Then a few of these isolated showers rolling through for uh, Tuesday night and into early Wednesday morning before that clears out and we'll have a lot more sunshine for your Wednesday. You can see those stronger winds in place for tonight and especially in our eastern counties into tomorrow morning. Some gusts still around 30, maybe 35 miles per hour. Here's a 1 p.m. snapshot tomorrow afternoon. Still some wind gusts around 25 miles per hour in the Minot area, but the winds relax into our Wednesday and switching to be out of the northwest direction, so about 10 to 20 miles per hour with those winds on Wednesday. Still temperatures mild for this time of year in the upper 40s to the low 50s. We could use some rain and we're not going to get a whole lot of it out of this system for Tuesday night. Only five hundredths observed at the Minot Airport so far this November. Where normally through the first about 10 days of the month, we should see about a quarter of an inch. It's been 54 days in Minot since we've seen a day with more than a tenth of an inch of rain observed. And then you have to go back to September 18th. So almost two months ago when we had somewhat of, a, of an appreciable amount of rainfall, but not a whole lot on this seven day forecast. A little bit of a better signal by Saturday after these mild temperatures come to an end. Cooler weather for the weekend and some rain showers likely on Saturday, maybe mixed in with a little bit of wet snow Saturday night. We'll keep an eye on that as that temperature drop happens over the weekend.